You are watching, watching Fitty Culture on Karis Maggie TV. TV. What up everyone, Karis Maggie here and welcome back to another episode of Fitty Culture. Now today I am here with Amy and Kurt. Amy is from Ireland and Kurt is a Jamaican currently living in Ireland. So today you're going to find out what we're going to be talking about a little bit down in the video. But first, let's welcome Amy and Kurt. Thanks for being here with me. Hi, thank Hi, you thanks for, having for having us. us. Yeah. <laughs> so before we get into the nitty gritty of what I want this video to be about, I do have a couple of questions. I don't know if Kurt will be able to answer because he's like literally fresh to Ireland, guys. So <laughs> he's I'm not an expert smart. yet. <laughs> I hope that's David answered. <laughs> So, Amy, um, you can probably let us know what is the capital, well, firstly, where is Ireland located, for those who probably don't know, and the official language in Ireland. Yeah, okay, so thanks for having us on, Maggie. The official language of Ireland is English, but our native language is Irish. And we are located across, just across the water from England, about a 30-minute flight away from England. Ireland is relatively small. Oh, okay then. Cool, cool. So, before I go into what the video is about, so I can tell everyone now, I wanted to be able to see what the similarities or what some Irish influence were to Jamaica, because there are a couple during my conversation with Curry actually let me know. So, that's what we're going to be talking about. But, um... Amy, what yeah. are some common myths <laughs> that you would like to just, you know, set the facts straight from now? Like, those are total myths about Irish people or Ireland. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> where, 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 where would you start? <laughs> where, where, where would you start? Like, <laughs> well, first of all, there's no leprechauns here. <laughs> no, in there's no. In case you were wondering, <laughs> I've been here five months and I've I haven't seen a pot of gold yet, so that's another one. <laughs> He's still searching for the pot of gold. I'm but, still uh... looking for the pot of gold, to be honest. <laughs> and okay, they don't only eat potatoes. So. <laughs> See, this is probably better going from like somebody that's not from our country. We eat a lot of potatoes, but it's not the no, only no, thing no, we eat. No, no, you eat a lot of potatoes. <laughs> a lot of leaves, a lot of leaves. Uh, uh, well, the Gold Sisters eat a lot of leaves. <laughs> okay, so, so far we know no leprechauns, no pot of gold. It's not just oh. potatoes that is a part of the diet. It's, it's, it is a big part of the diet, but it's not the only part of the diet. <laughs> it's not the only part, okay. Just to be clear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, not everyone is short over here. People are, are normally thinking Irish people are like five foot five. Really? Uh, oh yeah, they, they think oh. they're like really tiny people, hence leprechauns. But <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're they can't speak for us. I mean, we're all quite a small family, but uh, well, I'm Irish. six five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's true. Kurt is six foot five, so he makes us all look small. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even know some of these are myths about Ireland. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if this is one as well. Like, um, so I was living in Newfoundland, and it's heavily influenced by Irish culture as well. Okay. So another thing that was common was like the drinking. Like, is that something that everyone just goes out and get drunk all the time? It's so true. See, it's, that's it is. Irish people legend. love to drink. Oh yeah, that was the next thing I was going to say. Actually, I was going to say the the. The next myth, but it, it's actually true. So it's not a myth that I <laughs> okay. love to drink. <laughs> they love to drink. But, you know, but in, in a good way. Like, they just love to go out and relax and have a good time. Mm. And, you know, so, oh, that's absolutely true. Yeah. Look at me. I, I don't drink alcohol, so I came to the wrong country. <laughs> Lies. He's so, for some, in so, well. <laughs> so for someone who would want to visit Ireland, what are some things that you would like them to know what to expect if they were to visit? Oh, okay. What to expect? Okay, <laughs> you need to dress for many weathers. So, in Ireland, the weather is very inconsistent. Would you say that's it, 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 it is because I came in on a Sunday night, and the Monday we went to Tesco's, and we had like five different seasons in the one oh, day. Oh gosh! We woke up, it was quite cold, mm. but it was overcast. Then it started raining. Yeah. And then on our way to Tesco's, it started hailing for some reason, and then coming out of Tesco's, it started snowing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why is it snowing? Yeah. And then driving home, it's got, it got real sunny. And I'm like, okay. I'm wow. starting to take the piss. It's true. I mean, like, we're so used to it because, like, like 
we live here. So, so, so it's just part of, and you know, it's funny, like my wardrobe consists of like five different, like kind of capital <laughs> wardrobes within one, you can put away your winter coat, you can put away your shorts, you can put away, cause you know, you're constantly kind of changing within one day even. Uh, wow. um, so the, the weather is extremely changeable and go from hot to cold <laughs> to, yeah, like not in a good way. As Kurt said, from snowing to raining to, you know, so that's one thing. The weather is wow. very unpredictable. So we just continue and do the activities. I think it's the only country that oh, will yeah. do certain things when it's lash and rain. We could oh, be yeah. out kayaking, left thinking we're having the time of our life, <laughs> which we probably are. Now it's lashing rain and you're freezing cold, but oh. you're you just have to go ahead and do stuff because the weather is like I said, so changeable. Oh, yeah. Like you can't wait on the weather to get good. So that's one thing. It rains a lot in Ireland. Um, we live in the capital, which is Dublin. Um, mm -hmm. So there's so much to do. Like I personally, like I, I love Ireland, obviously. Um, <laughs> but I would have lived in town. So that we call town, you know, Dublin city. city is town for us. That's the city. That's what yeah. We, yeah, we call city. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to do. Oh my God. Like we have a lot of history in Dublin. Um, like there's so many things it's like Trinity College you can get a bus here and like, you can take like a trip around the city but there's loads of really cool um, attractions I don't think Kurt didn't get to go to there's the Guinness Brewery and the, and the Jameson's Factory the Jameson Factory there's Kilmainham Jail uh, which is really really interesting like it's mm -hmm. one of oh, the most amazing things I've done in Dublin like it's super interesting there's another place um, where Michael Collins is buried and uh yeah, like, so Michael Collins would have been, he basically helped Ireland to become free again um, oh, because okay. we were under British rule. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's where he's buried. And uh, so that is Glasnevin Cemetery. Now, you, you think it might be funny going to see a cemetery, but it's really, really interesting. And mm -hmm. the history there, it's incredible. There's so much to do in Ireland. There's also wow. Temple Bar where you can go and experience the Darn. traditional Irish music and the drinking <laughs> and the dancing and the singing and, you know, everything else. Uh, we also <laughs> live out near the sea. So, mm. like, Ireland is very diverse. Like, there's beautiful hikes. There's gorgeous rivers. There's an awful lot of outdoors things that you can do, which people tend to do, as well as the culture within the city and the history. Okay. Uh, so, there's nice. loads of really beautiful things. Because we can have, like, four seasons in a day. Okay. Well, I, I might just have to visit one day. So, I hope you have an empty room. For <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I do. I'm building a house. So, I have lots of empty oh. rooms. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. So, Mr. Kurt, putting you on the spot now. Because you're a Jamaican and you're married to Amos' sister, Grace. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that you're in Ireland and you're around the culture and all of that, what are some things? So let's start with food, a category of food. What are some similarities? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> You've probably straight, noticed. Straight off the bat, I know a lot of people would hear about the famous Irish stew. <laughs> now, <laughs> the thing is, with the Irish stew, in Jamaica, we call it soup. It's made the same. It's mm. like a one-pot meal. Literally, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> as as when, when their nanny makes it, I'm like, Oh my god, this is heaven! Like, cause I love soup. <laughs> so, like, for instance, the st the stew in Jamaica, like Jamaican soup. Um, mm -hmm. the way they they season meat and uh stuff over here, it's it's quite similar to Jamaica. Also, for instance, the way they grow the cows over here and the the the, mm -hmm. the, the sheep and the and the pigs. Oh, one thing is, I, I, Ireland is known for like it's it's meat. It's, it's meat. It's lovely. It's the best steak I've ever had in my life. Like, oh, okay. You'll see the cows walking <laughs> around in the fields and all that kind of stuff. So it's I haven't no, I've have not had a problem with food since I got here. Thank oh, God. that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's great, and it's Check. also amazing having a a cook in the house as well. It's an amazing cook. So it's incredible. Like I love when he cooks. So nice. Great. Showing off your chef skills there, Kurt. <laughs> well, you know, man, I got I to cook. can't. I love it. So, all right. So, we we're, we got it locked down with food. So, mm -hmm. what about, like, with our dialect? Do you notice any influence from the Irish as well? Well, for instance, so, every, like, most people know Jamaica has a dialect and it's called Patwa. It's not really a language. However... Mm -hmm. When you hear an Irish person speak, like it sounds quite similar to Patwa, especially in certain parts of Jamaica, because you know in the countryside mm. they speak a different Patwa than yes. Monday <laughs> or Kingston, or you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I remember walking 
with my wife and one day she hit her leg and she's like, "Oh, my leg." And my wife's like, "That's almost Jamaican." Because of the dialect. So it's it's really quite similar. It's quite funny at times hearing it from them. I was like, yeah, "That's definitely Jamaican." Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. Your influence. Yeah, it's probably my influence actually. They probably listen to me. The words I can't say, but because you know. we, we pick up things, me and Grace in particular, oh, yeah. and my sister, oh, like, yeah. we pick up a lot because I even find certain things yeah. you say that I'm saying now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if vice versa, but you know, as so we pick up, but uh, yeah, no, there will be quite similarities. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it is. And the thing is, they understand me quite well because I speak past them most of the time. That's good. That's cool. That's, That's really cool. English, but, uh, yeah. Rude, you know? <laughs> but we answer you. In they answer me past them. It's the most funny thing. Like, 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 well, but that's a little thing for us, Amy. But that's a little thing. What's a which? Can you say something in Patois? <laughs> oh, oh on the, no. she's on the spot. I only know the curses. <laughs> I, I normally can't. hear them all the time. <laughs> and who, me? I'm a Christian. I don't think so. <laughs> no, but right, it's funny because sometimes without thinking, I'll just answer Kurt. Yeah, you know, yeah. And I'm exactly. going, and I'm like, what the hell was that? And he just oh, be laughing. Oh, I get you. I get <laughs> yeah. you. It's not right now. Say, yeah. <laughs> So anything else? I, I honestly can't really think of another category off the top of my head, Kurt. So is there anything else you can well, think of that you notice? Yeah, because the, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not sure if a, a lot of people know this about the big influence that Ireland has on Jamaica or Irish people. In fact, because the first settlement slaves that came from Ireland, because Irish people were slaves as well, were okay. sent to Jamaica to work on the, on the plantations in Jamaica. Now, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with the Sligoville, uh, Sligoville term, but it's mm. when loads of Irish people were sent to Jamaica. Mm. Some slaves, some were not. And funny, a fun fact, the Jamaican national motto out of many one people was mm. formed after many Irish people laid their roots in Jamaica. So they had children oh. in Jamaica and it kind of led to changing the motto out of many wow. one people. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. So definitely a lesson for me today as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool, cool. There's a lot of Irish names in Jamaica. Oh, right? yeah, the names are quite similar. Like Brown, Brown, like my name, yeah. Oh. Brown and like... I met Patrick. a Patrick Finnegan yeah. one time. Like, you can't get a more Irish name than Paddy Finnegan. And he was our taxi driver in... Um, <laughs> yeah. He picked up in the airport in Jamaica. And I was like, your name was what? And he's like, oh, yeah, Pat Patrick Finnegan. I was like, sorry, that is Patrick actually... Patrick Finnegan. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing because it was the most Irish name, you know, yeah. which is lovely. Uh, so it's got, yeah, there's a major influence oh, in Jamaica. Oh, yeah, there is. Nice. Cool. So one of the funny things is I found out recently that my granddad's granddad is actually Irish. So I think I'm, I'm bringing the roots back to Ireland. Doing <laughs> <laughs> wow. full circle again. <laughs> <laughs> that's Amazing. really cool wow mm -hmm. look at you know, so <laughs> <laughs> and now he's back in ireland <laughs> and now i'm back hey hey family and he's a little, little baby on the way I as well baby on the way. oh yes oh yes hopefully i don't know i i think i want you to have a girl first oh it, 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 it is, is a, girl. a girl it is a girl oh yes yeah. <laughs> i'm like we can imagine how beautiful she's gonna be oh my god she's gonna yes. be gorgeous I'm so excited. Well, I'm tomorrow is Father's Day. So, well, Yay. by the time the viewers will be seeing this, Father's Day is going to be gone. But just so y'all know, he's going to yeah. be a daddy soon. So congrats to you, Kurt, as well. And to you and your That's wife rich. for your new bundle of joy. <laughs> cool. So my for my viewers, crazy. in case you didn't know, well, now you know. Now you know a little bit more about Ireland. And if you're a Jamaican, you'll see that. You're kind of very, very similar, more than you think. So I want to thank Amy and Kurt so much for doing this video with me. We had a lot of struggles getting to Oof. this point. It's stormy but, outside. Woof, we've made it. We've made it. I'm definitely going to do a bloopers video because <laughs> people <laughs> need to see the progress and the process that goes into doing these kind of videos. Like, it's not easy, but I really want to thank you all. I know it's late for you, so I'm not going to keep you long. Um, is there anything you want to say before we close off? I want KFC. <laughs> Wait, Ireland doesn't have KFC. Um, KFC. Oh, you know, funny they have KFC, and it's actually it's it's not bad. I, I'll give it a seven oh. out of ten. Oh, it, wow! It's, oh, it's like original chicken, and they have zingers here. So, Intra Okay, so there's hope. There's hope if I visit. There's hope. Okay, good. Oh, there's hope. There's <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> That's great to hear. Wonderful news. <laughs>
<laughs> if that's the only thing he's missing, then he's doing well, isn't he? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's good. Okay, not not too shabby. Okay. No, I'd be missing right. the palm trees and the beautiful beaches, but no. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Wow. Once he's not missing that, we can provide the KFC. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everyone, everyone yeah, here is safe. Suffice. <laughs> Everyone's safe for now. <laughs> For more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to share with me what are some similarities that you're probably aware of between Ireland and Jamaica. If you're from Ireland, represent down below from Jamaica as well. Feel free to represent your country. And until next time, don't forget... Wait, no, that's not what I say. <laughs> don't, for <laughs> don't forget to do road and do things. And until next time, Maggie is out.